Now that we have formulated our hypothesis, now we need to collect the data in order to test the hypothesis. But before we collect on the data, we need to properly measure these constructs. Now how do I measure these constructs? I will need a questionnaire for each one of these variables. So where is my questionnaire? And what will the questionnaire do? It will help me measure. Measure what? These constructs here, all of them. So a measure that you will come across in a research paper, you will obviously see this word measure in your different research papers. And that measure is referred to as an instrument. So a measure is basically an instrument. And what does this instrument do for you? It helps you or it helps you measure these latent variables. Now, in this case, our instrument is basically a set of items. Or we can refer to it as a questionnaire. So where are these set of items? Where is my questionnaire? Where is my instrument? Where is my measure? How do I get these items or indicators? You will see these terms being used interchangeably. So I'm not going in technical definition of these terms for now. So where is my questionnaire? How do I search for my questionnaire? How do I measure these particular items? Now, before I go into detail as to how to measure these particular items, it's very important to be considerate about a few things. Now, what are those particular things that you should be considerate about? Number one, number of items. Now, since we are going to use later, maybe Smart PLS or any other software that is basically structural equation modeling softwares or AMOS as a software or maybe SEM in R a package in R or maybe Lavan or any other structure equation modeling software. And in structure equation modeling, your items do get deleted. So you need to have enough number of items that even if so during the analysis, if your items are deleted, you still have sizable number of items. There should be at least three in a particular construct. Now, the second thing is, how did you conceptualize your construct? You should be very mindful of your conceptualization. For example, you have conceptualized a concept in a different way and you are measuring it in a different way. So your conceptualization is not in line with your operationalization. How you have operationalized your concept. So this is wrong. For example, you have defined, let's say I'm measuring CSR and in my literature review, I've defined it as a multidimensional construct whereby CSR is about economy or economic responsibilities. Let's say legal responsibilities, ethical responsibilities and philanthropic responsibilities. But when you are operationalizing it, when you are developing or finding a measure to obviously or a questionnaire to measure this construct you do not have questions on let's say economy you only may have questions on philanthropic dimension that is discretionary behavior but you op you actually conceptualized it differently so the reviewer will ask you well this is your conceptualization here but your measurement is totally different it's not in line with the conceptualization so this is utterly wrong Moving on, so one thing, number of items, number two, conceptualization, number three, make sure the scale that you are using is reliable and valid. Now in simple terms, in order to have a more reliable and valid measuring instrument, 
what you can do is obviously focus on journals that are listed in master journal list as we have talked in detail in one of the previous sessions fourth make sure your statements are easy to understand so if they are not easy to understand then you will have issues in your data collection you can adopt a questionnaire or you can adapt a questionnaire now what do you mean by adopt you use it as is no changes whatsoever adaptation is when you change your questionnaire whereas the essence of the questionnaire remains the same the essence of items remain the same you only change it a few words here and there just to make it easy to understand or fit the respondent profile another important point is response scale this is very important let's say you are measuring trust and what you do is you ask your questions like this do you trust your organization now in this case a normal response scale would be yes or no whereby your respondents will either choose from yes or no now similarly let's say you've got questions in the form of what do is in the in question form now the normal response scale would be yes or no the issues will arise when you are going for a sem analysis because this is not a metric scale so when you are choosing your questionnaire or the instrument to measure the variables so your scale should be when you are using scm it should be likert scale now it could be from strongly disagree to strongly agree it could be from strongly dissatisfied to strongly satisfied but try avoid dichotomous responses like yes no 1 0 something like that if you've got or you are using questionnaire as an instrument to measure those constructs and you each of your questionnaire item or each of the questionnaire or each of the construct is measured using multiple items use likert scale otherwise you will have trouble analyzing your model now this is not an exhaustive list now there could be many other issues that one should consider however these for now i think are the most important we may look at some of the other issues as we go along thank you very much